Hi guys, Steph here. We've got another gorgeous, handsome fountain pen to show you. So what do we have here? Well, let's go straight to the barrel imprint and show you exactly what we've got. Okay, let's keep it nice and still and there you have it. What we have is a national security number 222 made in England fountain pen. Let's give you a different view. So there you can see it's got a lovely clear barrel imprint and the nice thing about it if you notice to the left of the barrel imprint there it's got this symbol of a lion holding a pen which at the time was their, was their logo. So what we have is a national security fountain pen, the model being the number 222, as we said, made in England. It comes in this gorgeous classic black colour, it has this engine turn pattern to the barrel and also to the cap there as you can see it comes with gold filled or gold plated trim it's a lever fill fountain pen as you can see there quite a plain unassuming lever if we take you to the cap you can see it's got a very thin cap band to the bottom of the cap and this ball clip to the very top of the cap there's no sort of logo or any name on the clip it's just a standard clip to the very top and it's got this slightly domed sort of cap stud to the very top of the cap there all in all a lovely handsome fountain pen now the national security pens were supposedly a second tier sort of pen manufacturer or pens in my opinion there's nothing second tier about this pen it's as good as any other pen of that particular period now when I say period I'm saying around about the 1930s 1940s it's a very nice handsome no-nonsense fountain pen the size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel 128 millimeters capped around the diameter of the barrel it's a nice healthy 12 millimeters in diameter now we're not quite sure who made this pen it came from a period when there were lots of sorts of pen manufacturers making pens for for other people or for retail shops or um, for other suppliers it may be made by somebody for the British carbon paper company of the period um, I also believe that this pen may have actually been made by the Langs company of Liverpool so I'm not 100% sure I believe it may have been made by the Langs company of Liverpool um, but as I say at that particular period a lot of pens were made for sort of uh, other companies for retail retailers etc so it's one of them pens we're not 100% sure but yeah I would say it's made by uh, Langs of Liverpool whoever made it it's a gorgeous handsome fountain pen let's unscrew the cap let's show you the pen in different angles as you can see everything is nice and clean it's been fully restored it's got a new sack in it everything is hunky dory there's the section you can see quite a small section slightly tapers towards the nib there with this little ridge and if we show you the nib you'll see it has a warranted 14 carat first quality nib okay so let's give you a different view but oh, I'm hoping that's quite legible there's a sideways view let's show you the feed underneath we've got a standard comb feed underneath there again everything is lovely and cleaned as it should be incidentally the nib there being a first quality nib is quite sort of a uh, normal of the period when again 
people were making pens for other people as opposed to putting a or having a sort of a Conway or a Waterman or be it whatever the manufacturer was um, a lot of these pens were fitted with these warranted nibs now don't be put off if you ever find a warranted nib they're still as good as any other nib so don't be put off by the fact it's just a simple warranted nib right a lovely chunky pen nice and comfortable although it's got a small section even with my large hands it's nice and comfortable to hold so let's see how it writes let's pop in our ink let's get the lever ready pop it in the ink whoops a daisy there we go lots of bubbling going on let's give it a wipe with our tissue pop the ink to one side and let's bring on our trusted little pad so what do we have we have a a national security fountain pen this one being the model number 222 and as we saw it's made in England and as I say I believe it's made by Langs of Langs of Liverpool it's actually a lovely writer as we said don't be put off by any warranted nibs they're just as good as any other nib of that period and to be honest of uh, of this period does it have any variation in line yeah I would say it has some variation as you can see there so let's show you the writing sample a lovely writer as you can see with a little bit of pressure we can get a little bit of line variation but all in all a lovely writer and as we said a lovely nib as well even though it's a warranted nib still as good as any other nib so there's the writing sample for you let's pop that to one side let's pop the cap back on and there we have it we've got a national security number 222 fountain pen made in England a very nice handsome unassuming um, it's got this lovely chase pattern to the barrel and to the cap and all in all in very nice condition so I hope you guys enjoyed looking at the video as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment below subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and if you possibly can down below please support my work but for now i'll just say bye bye for now